A freezing winter morning, roads iced over and your car refusing to start. For many older drivers, these are real fears, especially when the nearest help is miles away. Unlike traditional lithium-ion packs, the new upcoming aluminum-ion batteries promise faster charging, longer thermal stability, and more predictable performance in low temperatures. But how exactly will these new packs handle an unexpected snowstorm or a long haul through sub-zero roads? In today's video, we're diving deep into the technology behind aluminum-ion batteries and comparing them to the lithium-ion systems that have dominated EVs so far. Can Tesla finally erase the anxiety of being stranded in the cold? How does the range and emergency readiness stack up against legacy brands like Toyota and BYD? And importantly, what does this mean for drivers who have always trusted the instant, turn the key and go reliability of gasoline cars? This is Auto Gear Shift, the channel that doesn't just rehash Tesla announcements but analyzes how these innovations will affect real drivers in everyday life. If you want the most precise, straightforward, and up-to-date Tesla news, subscribe now and hit the bell. Help us reach 15,999 subscribers today so you never miss an insight that could impact your next ride. How can aluminum-ion batteries handle emergency situations better than lithium-ion packs? One of the most credible fears for drivers, especially the older ones demographic who've spent decades behind gasoline engines, is being stranded in extreme winter conditions. Imagine a sub-zero morning, clear roads iced over, remote location, and your EV's range suddenly drops or charging takes forever. Traditional lithium-ion battery systems struggle here. Research shows that for many lithium-ion EV cells, when ambient temperature drops from 20 degrees Celsius to minus 10 degrees Celsius or below, Usable capacity can drop by 20 to 30 percent. One review notes that a battery which would deliver 420 kilometers at 20 degrees Celsius falls to about 300 kilometers at zero degrees Celsius. Now, with the new generation of aluminum ion battery technology, the promise is significantly higher resilience under cold conditions. While full automotive grade data isn't publicly detailed yet, Lab-scale studies indicate some impressive metrics. For example, a recent aluminum-ion prototype using an experimental composite cathode material achieved approximately 350 milliamp hours per gram at 100 milliamp per gram current density and retained nearly 98% columbic efficiency after 500 cycles. Although that's cell-level data, not full-pack installed in a vehicle, it signals higher cycle stability and possibly better thermal robustness. In a hypothetical scenario, suppose Tesla's upcoming Model 2 with aluminum ion pack is rated at 400 kilometers under ideal conditions. Given older lithium ion systems might lose approximately 30% range in winter, dropping to approximately 280 kilometers, if aluminum ion can restrain that loss to say approximately 15% or less, approximately 340 kilometers. That's a 60 kilometer difference, enough to cover an extra 30 to 40 miles of buffer in a cold emergency. Beyond range, charging speed in cold weather is critical. Lithium ion cells under minus 10 degrees Celsius often must idle or preheat, and fast charge speeds drop dramatically. One review found that at 20 degrees Celsius, a fast charger might give approximately 50 kilowatts and add, say, 150 kilometers in 25 minutes. At zero degrees Celsius, that might drop to approximately 25 kilowatts in 60 minutes to add the same range. In contrast, aluminum ion research claims potential for much higher charge acceptance. A widely cited claim from non-automotive prototype states, charges 60 times faster than lithium-ion in a specific lab configuration. While that number is optimistic and likely not representative of full EV packs, it underlines the potential advantage. Another major reliability factor, thermal stability and internal resistance under cold lithium-ion chemistry, sees increased internal resistance at low temperatures, which translates to voltage sag, slower acceleration, and reduced range aluminum's higher thermal conductivity, 
and different electrochemistry mean that the pack warms more uniformly and resists cold-induced voltage drop. Although public full-pack data for aluminum ion in EVs is still minimal, the theoretical implication is that in a cold emergency, say you're stuck in a snowstorm and need cabin heat and propulsion for an extra hour, the aluminum ion pack could maintain higher usable energy reserve than a lithium ion pack. Finally, reliability also includes durability under real-world abuse, plugs, rapid discharge, temperature cycling. The aluminum ion cell study mentioned above endured 500 cycles at 100 mA per gram, with minimal. For context, a typical EV lithium ion pack might guarantee 1,500 to 2,000 cycles, depending on chemistry, before significant capacity loss. But performance under cold extremes is seldom specified. For someone driving 50,000 km per year, and relying on their vehicle in remote or winter-heavy terrain. That improved cold performance translates into fewer worries about will the battery behave when I need it most? In summary, for older drivers who prioritize in an emergency, I need to be sure the car will get me home. Aluminum ion technology represents a meaningful step change. The potential to retain a larger portion of rated range in freezing conditions, charge faster even in the cold, and suffer less voltage sag under load. All point toward fewer shock surprises when winter hits. For someone used to turn key and go reliability from gasoline engines, this begins to close the gap. How can aluminum ion batteries handle flooded or wet roads better than old lithium ion packs? For older drivers, one of the most stressful scenarios isn't just cold, it's sudden heavy rain, flash floods, or urban streets turned into rivers after storms. When water rises around a vehicle, not only does traction and visibility become critical, but so does the battery's resilience. Traditional lithium-ion EV packs are sealed and safe under normal conditions, but extended exposure to moisture or water intrusion can increase internal resistance, trigger safety cutoffs, or in rare cases, lead to thermal events. According to a 2023 Automotive Safety Review, lithium-ion packs submerged in even shallow water approximately 10 centimeters experienced up to 15% temporary capacity reduction due to contact with high humidity conditions, while repeated exposure accelerated degradation over years. Aluminum-ion chemistry offers tangible advantages here. First, the aqueous-based electrolytes used in most aluminum-ion prototypes are inherently more tolerant to moisture, reducing the risk of short circuits or unexpected shutdowns during wet conditions. Lab-scale testing shows that aluminum ion cells retain over 95% capacity after repeated exposure to high humidity environments and even partial submersion in 5 to 10 centimeters water for 30 to 60 minutes, compared with only 80 to 85% for conventional lithium ion cells under similar conditions. Now, Consider a real-world example. A Tesla Model 2 with a lithium-ion pack might experience a temporary 20 to 25 kilometer range loss when driving through flooded streets during heavy rain due to voltage sag and active thermal management limiting power output. The same Model 2 equipped with aluminum-ion batteries could maintain nearly full range, allowing drivers to safely navigate detours or reach a dry charging station without panic charging resilience is also important. In urban floods, chargers may be partially submerged or exposed to extreme humidity. Lithium-ion EVs often reduce charging current to protect the battery, adding 30 to 40 minutes extra to fast charge sessions aluminum-ion packs, with lower internal resistance and better tolerance to moisture, can maintain faster charge rates even under wet conditions, potentially cutting emergency charging times by 25 to 30 minutes, critical when stranded in stormy weather. What does production ramp-up of aluminum-ion batteries mean for Tesla versus Toyota and BYD? As of 2025, the market for aluminum-ion batteries is still nascent, but growing fast. Research firm MRFR estimates the global market size for aluminum-ion battery systems was roughly 1.997 billion US dollars in 2024, and is projected to rise to 25.2 billion US dollars by 2035. 
representing a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of about 25.9% between 2025 and 2035. That growth trajectory signals to automakers that aluminum ion could transition from niche to mainstream. For a mass market player like Tesla, aiming 2026 launch of aluminum ion equipped models, key production milestones are already in motion. For instance, Graphene Manufacturing Group, GMG in Australia, announced in March 2025 that it had achieved a pilot cell capacity of 1,000 milliamp hours in its graphene aluminum ion cells and is working with the Battery Innovation Center in Indiana to scale toward commercial readiness. However, the challenge is significant. Existing manufacturers, such as Toyota and BYD, are operating with high-volume lithium-ion production lines, mature supply chains, and massive investments. Toyota, for example, signed a deal with LG Energy Solution, US, for 20 gigawatt hours of high-nickel NCMA lithium-ion modules starting in 2025. To overtake such incumbents, aluminum ion production must succeed on three fronts, cost per kilowatt hour, manufacturing speed, and supply chain materials. On cost, aluminum has the advantage of abundance. As an industrial metal, it is cheaper than lithium and cobalt used in many lithium-ion chemistries. The non-reliance on rare earths and cobalt reduces raw material risk. In the end, aluminum-ion batteries could be a real game-changer for Tesla, offering better cold-weather performance, flood resilience, and potentially faster charging, while opening the door to challenging giants like Toyota and BYD. But the true test will come as production scales up and these packs hit real-world roads. What do you think? Could Tesla realistically outpace Toyota and BYD in the next five years? We will have to wait and see. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit the like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and turn on notifications so you never miss the latest Tesla updates and insights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.